If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Our coach's corner is Coach Jonathan Beverly of the Childersburg Tigers. You're talking about a topsy-turvy region. It took another turn last week. It did. It did. Uh, this is uh, by far probably one of the uh, craziest region schedules I've ever been a part of, especially as a head coach. So, you know, with two weeks left to go in region play, all seven teams have a have a way in. All seven teams have a way out. So, uh, you know, we're we're fortunate at this point of the year to still have an opportunity to make the postseason. And uh, you know, e literally every team in our region is thinking mm -hmm. the same thing. So, uh, it, sh it should be a very interesting next couple of weeks. You're up 14 to 10 on the road to Elmore County. And then the second half, it just kind of gets away from you a little bit. Got away from us. You know, it's the first time all year we've been outscored in the second half. And, uh, you know, honestly, uh, it, it, it's something that, you know, really I, I was still trying to figure out even up through the beginning of this week, you know, before we finally just turned all of our attention towards Friday. Uh, but, you know, you know, credit to, you know, their kids for, for coming out and their coaches for coming out and having a good second half. Uh, you know, the second half got away from us. You know, we turned the football over twice in the second half, and, and that, you know, definitely hurt us. But, again, we're very fortunate to have an opportunity to still be, uh, you know, alive uh, as we move forward. That's one of those games where you wish it wasn't halftime because, you know, things are going pretty good in the first right, half. Yeah, we had all the momentum coming out of that second quarter. Uh, you know, we had just intercepted, uh, you know, one of their passes going into – uh, halftime time ran out and you know honestly I, I think they desperately needed the break uh, we were we were trending upward and uh, you know I think looking back at it the break kind of cooled us off and mm -hmm. we never got going again after you know after that intermission San Hope Elmore over Childersburg last Friday night a key region matchup we got another one tonight and uh, it's all hands on deck for the Lincoln Golden Bears we'll talk with coach Beverly about that right after this Hot under the collar because your basement is full of water? Call a local company you can trust. Ox Foundation Solutions. We use the most advanced water management system to stop water from invading your basement for good. Things feeling a little uneven at home? Ox Foundation Solutions will fix your uneven concrete sidewalk, driveway, or basement in no time. Ox Foundation Solutions has the best plan to keep your home safe. If you are experiencing any issues with your sidewalks, basement, crawl space, or foundation, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. We believe everybody should have a great night's sleep. That's why you have to check out our Scott Levy mattress collection today. Quality, comfort, and a lot of ease. Dream big. Introducing Scott Living Mattresses. For a limited time, save up to $1,000 on any Scott Living mattress set, plus 24 months special financing. When you buy a Scott Living mattress set, now is the best time to save up to $1,000 on a Scott Living mattress set. Come in today to check out these and many more great deals. King's Mattress Outlet, Silicaga. Coach Jonathan Beverly, the head football coach of the Childersburg Tigers, our guest this morning. Is this the biggest game since you've been there? Uh, one of, if not, uh, I'd say the biggest. You know, last year, you know, we were in the same predicament going to Dadeville. Mm -hmm. Had to win to get into the playoffs. Uh, and so this game is, is no different. So uh, I'd say probably the, the biggest home game since mm -hmm. I've been here. Talk about uh, the Lincoln Golden Bears. Well-schooled, well-coached, good football team. They're a very good football team. You know, one of the things that – uh, they typically do week in and week out is, uh, you know, play great in special teams. Uh, they've got a great kicker that, uh, you know, kickoff wise, he's going to put it through the back of the end zone. You know, he's good from about 45 yards out. And so, uh, you know, that changes the game because mm -hmm. now they're thinking when they cross midfield uh, that they've got a good chance to always come away with three points. A lot of high schools don't have that luxury. Uh, so, you know, that th those things can kind of change the game. Uh, you know, offensively, uh, you know, they do a good job taking care of the football. Uh, they like to, you know, play defense and beat you with defense and special teams. So we've got to find a way to uh, maximize our possession. Offensively, after being shut out in the second half uh, at Elmore County, you got to get that offense back on track tonight. Yeah, looking to get back on track. You know, one of our main things is it's still trying to find balance, you know, making sure, uh, you know, we've been able to run the football on just about everybody we've played all year, uh, but trying to find ways to, to be balanced, to – uh, then make the defense be balanced. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got to find a way to, uh, you know, threaten people through the air, which we've done a better job with throughout the last probably three or four weeks. And so we need to do a better job with that again tonight. When you're eight games in, you may tweak some things, but big changes not going to happen. No, typically not. Uh, you know, if you're making wholesale changes this far in, uh, chances are, uh, you know, things haven't gone that well for mm -hmm. you. Uh, like I said, we're still, you know, in the hunt. We're still in a, in a, in a tight region race here. So, uh, you know, we're going to continue to do the things that we do. We're going to tweak here and there. 
uh, but we're going to continue to do the things that we do. And if we can execute uh, with the things that we do well, uh, you know, we feel good about it. Most of the season uh, defensively, Childersburg has been very salty, very strong, very physical. Uh, you'll need that tonight. We'll need it again tonight. You know, they're a, a football team that's very similar, and it makes sense because Coach Zedeker was at Sylacauga for mm -hmm. so long. But, you know, offensively, very similar to what we saw against Sylacauga a couple weeks ago. Uh, they like to run the option. Uh, they like to, uh, you know, again, control the football, control the uh, you know, time of possession. And so we've got to play well defensively. We've got to, again, uh, find ways to get them off the field. Uh, to not allow them to flip the field position on us. And certainly uh, mental mistakes can can kill a drive. It, it can take away momentum. That's got to be very limited tonight. Absolutely. On uh, both sides of the ball and in special teams, uh, we've got to be alert. Uh, you know, defensively, you know, when you're playing a team that runs the option, it's about everybody doing their job over and over and over again. Um, you know, you can't get lulled to sleep and you can't, uh, you know, get bored just doing your mm -hmm. job. And so that's something that we've preached all week. Offensively, again, you know, continuing to understand that, hey, you know, uh, those third and fives, third and sixes, th those are big plays. And those are times that we need to convert, need to move the ch chains so that we can stay on the field. And remembering these are 15, 16, 17-year-old kids, too. Absolutely. And that's, uh, you know, one of my uh, coaches, uh, Coach Bedoris, always says, you know, you just you never know what you're going to get. You know, even minute to minute uh, when you're dealing with high school kids, we love them to death. And, uh, you know, there's nothing else we would rather be doing. Uh, but sometimes, uh, you know, and just we talked about it off off camera, you know, in life, you don't know what you're going to get minute to minute, let alone uh, in high school football. So uh, it keeps you on your toes for sure. Uh, Jordanberg hosting. Uh the Lincoln, uh, the Lincoln Golden Bears tonight kick off seven o'clock at John Cox Stadium. How have you guys approached the game this week? Uh, I think we've had a very uh, businesslike uh, demeanor all week. Uh, I think our, you know everybody within that field house understands the the ramifications of Friday night's game. Uh, so we understand that hey, you know if we want to be playing football in November, uh, which is what we've uh, had as our goal uh, since early summer. Uh, then it's going to take a win Friday night. And so third year in as head football coach there, uh, this team on track uh, for the future? I believe so. Uh, you know, we look at our juniors now. Uh, you know, of course, our seniors obviously experienced a playoff uh, opportunity last year. You know, hopefully we'll experience that this year. You know, our juniors, uh, a lot of which played as freshmen, you know, went to the playoffs as sophomores, looking again to go to the playoffs as juniors. Uh, and so, you know, we're going through uh, – you know, that progression where it's starting to become the norm to expect, you know, postseason play, mm -hmm. to expect success. And so, um, you know, I believe that we're uh, at that place now where all of a sudden the expectations are getting a little bit higher, and they should be because of, you know, the success that we're having. Any uh, major injuries that could play a role in tonight's game? Fortunately not. Fortunately, we're coming into the game uh, healthy. We're coming into the game uh, you know, for lack of better terms, with, with, with all of our bullets. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to uh, continue to be healthy and continue to have, you know, all of our key players, you know, in action. And, and we feel good about that. All right. The, the word is often used uh, when you don't play well, you're, you're eight games into the season. Anything but a win tonight would be unacceptable. Absolutely. All right. Coach Jonathan Beverly, the head football coach and athletic director at Childersburg High School. Childersburg hosting uh, Lincoln tonight, uh, and the playoff berth is at stake. So good luck to the Tigers, and Coach, we'll see you next week. Absolutely. More Daybreak right after this.